What just happened, Chris? Ellie, come here. It looks like <clears throat> Ellie flopped over and had a seizure. And she just now got up. She was yeah, laying perfectly she still till till I got the camera. Let her, let her recover. Uh, we we don't know for sure if Ellie's for sure had a seizure before. She's fallen over just like for no good reason, and uh, and and could have passed out. Hey, Safi, I know you're freaking out. Freaking out too. <laughs> and um, come here, Ellie. Get Animala. Come here, Ellie. Had a seizure before, but now she's up. Her pupils are equal and reactive to light. So we're gonna be going to the vet sometime in the week and get this figured out. Right, Daddy? Yep. Let's get Ellie some water. Um, Ellie. Where's Ellie? There she is. Ellie Bell. You want some water? How are you feeling? Are you feeling better? Uh, she looks better. She's recuperated. She I was. Think all the excitement for her I do too. You see, we were fixing to shoot a video, thus all the lights, and you can actually see us because we actually remembered to put the lights up. Um, and we were gonna film us playing ukulele, and I was fix. I was taking some shots for thumbnails and whatnot, and all of a sudden I was moving the camera and I heard a thud right next to me. And Ellie's little legs were shaking and her head was going back. And I was like, Chris, she's having a seizure. And Chris is like, what? Did she fall off? Did she hit her head? And I'm like, no, she was just standing here and literally flopped over. So, um, yes, my Christmas tree is still up. Don't judge me. I can't help it. I've been a sick old woman. I'm trying to make videos instead of take down trees. Maybe if I had another single hatchling to sit on there, I'd be more motivated. But anyway... Oh. So, um, so sorry, but, um, I just thought y'all deserved to know since we didn't actually get Arthur, um, Arthur filmed because I was really freaking out. Chris was the calm one with Arthur and I was freaking out. And in this one, I was the calm one and Chris was freaking out. Yeah. So at least we balance each other out. I'm like going through shock right now. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't know if we can. <laughs> I gotta sit and relax. I don't sure. know if we can make this video. I don't know if I can sing and play a ukulele after that. Can you? I don't know, it's kind of freaking me out. I know. Well, I need to go check the rabbits anyway. Maybe this turns into Quicksilver Kindled. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yes, she actually, actually kindled. She had three bunnies. One is brown. Thank the Lord, because, you know, we need another buck, you know, to breed to Guinevere. And um, I would like for it to be a brown bunny, wouldn't you? Uh, yes, brown. Yeah. So, um... I'm hoping that one's a boy, so instead of playing ukulele, since my heart is still pounding and I still have butterflies in my stomach from Ellie's seizure, um, maybe looking at some baby bunnies would be better. I think better. she just got overexcited. I think she got overheated, overexcited, and, but I mean, the past couple days she has been sick. She's thrown up day before yesterday and yesterday so thursday and friday she threw up she didn't throw up yesterday but anyway still got to take her to the vet so instead of making a ukulele video let's go check out some kits and some quicksilver instead of doing ukulele we'll see you in a bit all right good morning lovely folks and welcome back to black pack homestead sorry um it's Tuesday now, and the part you just saw was filmed on Sunday when we were going to do our jam. But, you know, Ellie had a seizure, so Ellie has not had another seizure. We've decided to wait and see how she does over this week. If she doesn't have another seizure, then um, we're going to take, you know, not take her to the vet. Because I don't really want to put her on a bunch of meds that may make her lethargic and not be herself. As long, I mean, if she needed it, absolutely, but... Other than that, you know, we're just gonna watch her, see how she goes, and all that good stuff. Quicksilver kindled. Um, she had three babies, and I believe that is due to the, um, we didn't do three fall-offs. It was Little Black Jack's first breeding. So, I really think that if had we done a third fall-off, she would have had like six, seven kits, like normal. 
but she kindled on day 31 which was one week ago today so I'm gonna show you one week old bunnies I was trying to get out here the day they that she the night she kindled I was gonna film the next morning but I've kind of came down with some sort of cold just a common cold got you know stuffy nose a little bit of a cough headaches you know so I've kind of been doing a little bit of self-care and trying not to spend time outside when it's rainy and windy and all that good stuff so um hang tight I'm gonna go in here and grab the loppers because I want to cut Quicksilver a couple of pieces of pear wood and grab her a little bit of forage so hang tight I'll be right back with you okay are you ready for some super cuteness okay here we go Quicksilver is eating her forage. She has a for she has a forage going on with some chickweed and some grass and some sunflower seeds, some pear sticks over here for her. Got to keep Mama fed, you know. And then here are her babies. If you look closely, if you look closely, you can watch. The nest moves. She pulled a ton of fur, which is phenomenal. Come here, baby. Okay. Oh. I brought him a little hat to snuggle down into because it is kind of cold today. Look at him. He's a little brown one like Arthur. I'm hoping it's a boy. I so hope he's a boy. I really do. He's a week old. I didn't really want to take them out much till they were getting some fur. And as you can see, they're getting some lovely, lovely fur. Yes. Did you just pee in there? Did you just pee in there? Are you my Arthur? Are you MacArthur? Are you MacArthur, little bunny? Little MacArthur. See, for a week, I mean, he was half this size a week ago. Look how big that baby is. Okay, let's put him back. And then... We have two black ones. And right there they are. Little cutie baby black bunnies. Just like their mama and their daddy. Black Jack. Ooh, see they're already getting so active. And their eyes are not even open yet. They get so active so quick. Don't you babies? Don't you? They all are healthy and fed well. Quix is being a great mom. She's just being a great mom. So happy to finally have baby bunnies back on the homestead. It's been over a year since we've had baby bunnies. And uh, yeah, I'm just tickled to have some babies again. Quicksilver pulled lots and lots of fur. When I first came down here while I was foraging, she was in there nursing. So she's done a great job as usual. Let me give these guys back to mom. I got more rabbits to take care of. Take your hair with you. Find your brother. Where's your brother? They're all back in there nice and kept warm. Mom is getting a little anxious with us though, I have to say. I have to say she is. She's she's not liking when I was putting fresh hay in the box, cause like right here she'll poop. She faces in when she feeds them. And so right here she'll poop and pee and this hay will get wet. So I just clean it out and clean the poop out. Oh, see, did you see her charge me? She's like, you are being, you're doing too much. Stop taking my stuff away. So, okay, Quicks, we'll leave you to it, my love. Eat your seed. She's already ate her piece of kale, it looks like. Looks like she's already ate the kale and some of the chickweed. She's a hungry mama. Your babies are okay, my love. They are. They're okay, mama. They are. Okie dokie. Good girl. All that great hair in there. You're doing a great job, mama. Keep them babies warm. Eat up your forage. Good bunny. Yeah, I'm doing really good with my scheduling and uploading. So proud, this is my second week, posting three times a day. We're gonna post, um, she's eating again. We're gonna post three times a week, and every other week we're gonna post on Sunday. This is the schedule I've came out with. It's a schedule I can handle, because I've successfully done it. This will be the um, second video of this week. 
on Wednesday this will post. Today is Tuesday. So, yeah, I've got a schedule three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and every other week on a Sunday. So this Sunday we're going to do a video. I'm not going to tell you what it's about, um, but look for our video on Sunday. So now I'm going to get Quicksilver some feed. So don't forget, posting videos three days a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every other week on Sunday as a special event. Well, I don't know if I'll schedule it or, you know, make it a, like, like a premiere or anything. But, um, you know what I mean. Gotta get Mama some food. Alfalfa pellets, fresh hay and forage. That's what my rabbits eat. They get sunflower seeds in the winter. And I still give them, like, a snack of sunflower seeds in the summer. So let me go around and fill up the rest of these. Oh, Blackjack's got plenty of food. Don't you, Blackjack? You just need some hay and forage. Hello, Gorbina. You have plenty, too. Okay, so I'll just need to take this over to Lilac's side when I go over there to do hers. Here is what our forage looks like today. We have some chickweed that started growing pretty good while it was warm, but now it's cold again. We've got some grass that started growing pretty good, but now it's cold again. And then I've got a little bit of cress in here. They're not the biggest fan of cress at all. At all, I'm telling you. And um, some sticks. And I uh, harvested a little piece, one piece of kale off my tiny baby kale plants you saw get snowed on. So that's the forage for today. Now, I'm going to get on and give these guys their forage and their hay, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, see you in a bit. And here's Blackjack with his forage. Are you a daddy, buddy? Did you become a daddy? What do you think, Blackjack? You happy to have babies? And you got to have some fun with Quicksilver? Yeah. You did, my bunny. Okay, let me go on and take care of everybody else. Here is Lilac, enjoying her forage. What you got there, Lilac? You got some forage? You got some forage, pretty girl? She's the next one to be bred. And I'm so excited to see what color she throws because um, Guinevere and Arthur were her parents. And so I'm curious to see what colors Little Black and her throw. So I'll probably be breeding them this weekend, I hope. I feel like it's starting to rain, I'm gonna have to close them up. But anyway, her box is destroyed. As you see, it is collapsing. So I'll have to fix her a new cardboard box today. She got her pear sticks, her forage. You want your kale? You want your kale? Kale? You're chinning it like your daddy. You don't want kale? Anyway, there it is. All right, you enjoy and have a good day. I'll check back with you in a little while. Be good. Okay, Quicksilver, thank you for letting us see your babies. You did such a great job, Mama. I wish I could open you up and let you see the outside, but it's a raining. It's a raining. <sighs> so at this point, Quicksilver and I would love to say thank you for hanging out with us and checking on her kits. And thank you for being interested and watching our videos. We greatly appreciate it. We love you guys. You know, if you weren't watching, we wouldn't be making. And so I thank you for watching. Please like, share, please share our videos on all your social media with all your friends if you think they would be interested. So um, take care, God bless, and we'll see you here next time at the Black Pack Homestead. God bless, take care, and bye-bye.